Hey photographers, I'm John. I'm based out of Columbus, Ohio. I primarily shoot a lot of real estate. I shoot a lot of food, but what got me interested in photography was automotive photography. And that's something that I don't do a lot of anymore, but it's fun when I do it. But the principles that I learned with doing automotive photography with images like this, which are a mixture of five, 10, 15 different layers in Photoshop are similar when you want to apply that to editing real estate photography. I believe that using flash photography gives you a consistent look across all platforms. So whether that's food, whether that's automotive, or whether that's a crappy house or a house that's really premium, utilizing flash and controlling the light that's in the room and then blending in some natural light gives you a consistent look to your product. So this video is gonna be a tutorial showing you how to easily edit flambient photography for real estate in either two, three, four exposures. This first picture is gonna be super simple. It's gonna be ambient plus flash. I'm gonna start in Lightroom, make some corrections to the image so that when I go into Photoshop, it's ready and it's a fast process. So we're gonna start here with this picture that is of a bedroom. There is no window that I have to worry about editing, but this image is way overexposed right now. I shot this image at two stops overexposed in camera. I will take a look at the highlights and I like how it's bringing back some of the color. You could, and I should actually take this eyedropper tool, find something white and get a little bit better result on what the actual image looks like. I do like that. I'm gonna come down to the saturation tool and desaturate some of the yellow, um, which takes care of some of the image back here because that bathroom back there is giving us some yellow light. I could have turned this light off right here, but I kept it on. I personally do like the look of lights off, um, but I just happen to have the light on for here. And I'm gonna bring down this exposure just a hair that's an image that I could just deliver by itself. I think that looks really good, but my customers are paying for a great looking image. So here's my flash image. I'm gonna take the eyedropper tool again, find something white, it's right around 5,700 Kelvin. I know that the flash actually fires at 55, um, but we're gonna stick with 57. We're gonna bring down the highlights just a little bit on here. I like that look. I'm gonna take both of these images. I'm gonna hit shift on a Mac, cause that's what I use. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to hit edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So both of these pictures are in Photoshop right now. Ambience on top, flashes on the bottom. I'm gonna hit shift on a Mac. I'm gonna highlight both of these. I'm gonna hit edit and auto align layers. Cause if there was some movement, it's going to align it. This shoot in particular, I actually shot on the Sony Images Edge app. So there really was like no movement on this. Um, my next step is I'm going to click on the ambient layer, go down here to add layer mask. And on a Mac, I'm gonna hit Command I to invert that. So right now I have inverted this layer. So you're only seeing the flash. I'm going to go into luminosity mode. Sometimes you're going lighten or normal and we're gonna tank the opacity down to, let's just say 60% to start with. Right now, we're hit B for brush, and we're gonna brush in ambient light. Sometimes I might be around 38. This is a really bright image, uh, but maybe want a little more ambient, right around 60, 70, 80. This is really subjective to how you wanna deliver your images. On this one, for this image, I like a little bit more ambient. I'm gonna stick with 60. My next step is I'm gonna highlight both of these again. I'm gonna hit Command E, which is going to group them together, and Command W, and I'm gonna go back to Lightroom to do some final touches. All right, so now I'm working on a bathroom shot, and this is a little bit subjective to the camera that you use, but this is another simple ambient plus flash. On this ambient, this is almost deliverable as is, but I wanna bring down the highlights a little bit to bring in more detail on the sink and maybe just bring down the exposure just slightly on there. There is a lot of green coming from this glass right here, but I think that's gonna be okay. On my flash, 
This thing is unrealistically blue. I'm gonna take the eyedropper tool. I know that this was white, but right there it says it's not gonna be able to white balance it. So let's try the toilet. Let's try down here. Okay, so we're getting close. Um, I'm gonna bring the exposure down by about a two stops, pretty close to two stops. And I'm gonna bring the highlights down so we have a little bit more clarity and bring in, bring up the shadows back in that corner. So I think that's looking pretty good. I know this flash is right around 5,500. So I'm gonna do 5,500 manually. And man, that green is out of control. Um, that's kind of looking good. I'm gonna come down to the green and drop it. And I'm gonna come down to purple. Yeah, there's really not much purple. Let's try yellow. No, that's okay. Um, Let's try light blue. Nothing much is happening. Okay, so again, that corrected our white balance between these two images. We're right around 5,500 on the flash one. On the ambient one, it's 3,400. Let's just double check, you know, see what kind of white we might have here. Oh, that's 3,100 looks way better. And again, this image could be delivered as is. This is a very beautiful just ambient. I'm going to add a little bit of clarity pop to it. And I think this is going to be really good. Let's bring this down just a little bit more. Okay. So again, you're going to hit shift, click on both of these, uh, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So for the most part, we're going to do the same features again, putting this photo into Photoshop, auto aligning layers, and then we're going to use a luminosity mask to blend the two. Okay, so I've got both of these images aligned here. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. So I'm going to use my brush on the first layer. I'm going to add a layer mask. We're going to invert that layer mask. We're going to set the opacity to 50%. We're going to go down to luminosity. And then we're going to paint in some of this onto the image. Basically paint all around here. I'm going to change the opacity maybe up to Ooh, 85 looks really good. 100, zero. So on this image in particular, I think the ambient actually was a really good shot. So I'm gonna blend more of the ambient and less of the flash. I think 85's, mm, we're gonna say 80's the, the money. We're gonna say 80's the perfect one for this. We're gonna hit shift on both layers, E to combine them, B to take it back into Lightroom. Now we're back here in Lightroom. I'm going to correct my verticals. Looks perfect. I'm gonna take my highlights down just a tad. Well, I guess all the way at a pop of clarity and then some contrast. And that's a really good looking image with just simple flash and ambient. On this last one, we're actually gonna do a window pool. It doesn't have a perfect view outside and it's kind of a little bit of a dirty window, but it was a rainy day. So we're still gonna learn how to get that window pool, even though it's not perfect. So again, we're gonna start with the same process that we've been doing, um, which is starting in Lightroom and then going into Photoshop. So I've got my ambient exposure right here. I've got the flash, and then I had another flash right here, which I don't think I'm actually gonna use because of the direction of light. So we're just gonna delete that one. And then here's the window pools. So let's take these four and load them into Photoshop. Same process that we've been doing. Highlight all of them, auto align layers. So to start this one off, I'm actually gonna deselect both of the window pool layers. And I'm gonna start with, again, the ambient layer. We're gonna do luminosity mode. So on this one, on the rest of my photos, I've actually been closer to 60 to 70% for opacity, but I'm finding a luminosity works really good around 30% or less than 50% is really what I should say for this, so that you can actually get a view of what the floor looks like. Um, and definitely not that low, but let's stick with 33 happens to be, I think, my favorite for this one. 
So we're gonna combine those two layers and then we're gonna bring up to the top the dark, um, the window pool layer and we're gonna do layer mask, layer mask hide. We're gonna do darken mode. We're gonna take the brush and we're gonna decrease the size of the brush. We're gonna paint in some of the outside so we can see out there. Again, nothing beautiful out there that day, um, but kind of gives you a, com a little more of a complete image. This is something you probably could have skipped on here, but some super simple steps to give you a nice finished product. So that's a quick video for you guys to see how to easily use flash and ambient to make a premium finished product that you don't have to send out to an editor because you don't know how to edit these things. If you guys have questions about processing these photos, give me a comment down below, or if there's any other steps you'd like to learn, like how to replace the sky and window views in those photos, let me know in our make a video. If this video helped you in any way, give me a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. Until next time, guys, peace.